Hold on one second. Hey kids, Damien Miles, Hollywood 101 show here at Sid Grauman's Royal Chinese Palace, the greatest theater in all the world, here in Hollywood, California. Tonight, Hollywood 101 pays tribute to the great John Barrymore. Here in Hollywood, that's one heck of a name, and I'm happy to say that I have his wonderful and charming and talented and intriguing grandson, John Barrymore III, here with us at Hollywood 101. Hey, John, come on over. He's one of the most charming and intriguing men in all of Hollywood. Hey, Mr. Barrymore. Hey. So nice of you to meet me here at Sid Grauman's fabulous place to see your grandfather's hand and footprint. There he is, George George Chikara. Yes, yes, I get it right. Is that right? Chikara. Chikara. Thank you so much. Um, an Academy Award winning dancer from West Side Story. Fantastic. Um, anyway, John, let's take a walk over to your uh, grandfather's hand and footprints. And face print. Yes, and face print. So this is your grandfather's hand and footprints here. And face print. And face print. And it was Sid Grauman who pushed his face. Yeah, there's a great, there's a great shot of Sid standing right where, about where you were, and uh, about standing, kneeling, and and pushing his face into his mask. Boy, he was really to, you know, put himself out there for the moment. Yeah, you know. So, um, how would you like to walk into those the footprints for me here on camera? Fantastic. It looks like a perfect fit, John. The hands fit better. do one because I've got that trigger finger thing over here. Fantastic. You know, I wanted to ask you um, what you thought were really um, the most important films in your grandfather's career. You no, know, it's hard for me to say what it was. Don Juan certainly because it was the first film with synchronized sound. So it was a big, it was a huge hit. It was also, you know, a technological turning point. Yes. And uh, yeah, the music and the, 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 the sword fight, all of that was on the record. Yeah. Um, because I'm very partial to Grand Hotel. That, of course, yeah. And I think the premiere was incredible here at this actual place. Yeah, and uh, Svengali. Svengali, fantastic. And my favorite is 20th Century. 20th Century. I don't know century. if that was one of his most important films or not. But well, it was certainly a screwball comedy. It was great. It was a very funny movie. And a tribute to everyone here in the third theater. Of course. Sven Gali is very funny if you look at the You know, honestly, I was scared initially when I was watching Sven Gali, and then all of a sudden I realized that um, Sven Gali wasn't actually evil. He was just a bit of a magician. Right? Where he, uh, she comes to him, the widow comes to him, and, uh, I've left my husband. He goes, what about the settlement? Yes. I've come to you just as I am. No settlement? And he, does a thing on her. She drowns herself in the canal. Yes. Okay. Maybe he was. They, a when they evil. told him about it, he said, "Tragedy." She was a very bad businesswoman. <laughs> yes. The woman in that movie, I think, the younger woman in that movie, who he didn't have jump in the river. Trilby. Yes. Mary. Was that Marion Marsh? Yes. It was. It was, it was, it was so beautiful. In twentieth century. Uh, Carol Lombard. Yeah. He's yelling at him in one scene, I'm no Trilby. <laughs> I'm no Trilby, she does not say that. Oh my god, well, Ch Cherry Bubbles fell in love with Trilby. She just watched Svengali and she hadn't heard of it, you know, and she wants to be um, Trilby. Yeah. She wants to be Trilby now. She's dying her hair platinum as we speak. Yeah, no kidding. To be Trilby from Svengali. Yeah, fantastic. And what was that other movie you mentioned? Something about America? The Great Man Votes. The Great Man Votes. I haven't seen that. What's that about? Uh, 
I can't remember. Oh, okay. Uh, but it, we have to met Garson Cannon at the, at the John Barrymore Film Festival in New York. Oh, okay. And uh, he directed my grandfather in that movie. Got one of his last really good performances. Uh, wow, yeah. wow. So now your grandfather's career, I know, was silent screen. I, I've seen some of his silent movies. No, 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 not entirely. Not entirely. He, he yeah. went through many decades. Yeah. But, um, Even Grand Hotel, where you can see he's reading the cards. He's still, you know, it's still a chilling performance. Oh, I had no idea he was reading. You couldn't tell? Not at all. Oh. Not at all. He didn't, didn't invent them, but he did invent the term idiot cards. Idiot cards. <laughs> you know, honestly, you would never know. His performance in Grand Hotel is so heartbreaking. I know. All I can, whenever I think of Grand Hotel, I think of Greta Garbo. Joan was so beautiful, but it's my personal favorite Greta Garbo movie. Do you love me? Do you really love me? No, no, not a Grand Hotel. Me? I'm thinking... Dinner at eight. Oh, I love. Was that Wallace Beery? And That's the one where you can see her in her cars. Oh, oh. No, I thought he did Dinner at Eight, and then I thought he was, gasses himself. Remember? You know, I was. I didn't get to see the movie. I'll have to watch it again. The, 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 he tells him so. He like sets the lighting and everything, turns on the gas, and. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Because um, I guess Dinner at Eight is a little more tragic than 20th Century. Yeah. Needless to say, because yeah. that's an actual love story. It makes me nuts. Yeah. Um, I've always loved Carol Lombard. Yeah. I, I really have always loved her. So I have to ask you, who's your grandfather's, wh who's your favorite leading lady of your grandfather's? I know that's a crazy question. Well, they have to be my grandmother, right? Of course. Who <laughs> oh, did she act with him? They're in the mosaic at, at Sunset and Vine. I didn't know that. You know, you know all the old home savings, now they're Chase Banks. Oh, yes, it's I know the one with all the mosaics on it. Yeah, yeah. The one uh, right, in, right in the middle, it's, it's, there's like five columns in that mosaic, and the, the bottom of the middle column, middle column is him as Ahab with my grandmother. I didn't know that. You know, he, he, uh, he did a, 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 the Sea Beast was a silent, he also did Moby Dick, sound one, right? Um, so he played Ahab twice. He had a first edition of The Whale by Herman Melville. Oh, he, he knew did. that there's no woman in that story, but. Both times they had to put a, you know. Yeah, well, that's the Hollywood. Hollywood thing. Yeah. Without women, where are we, yeah, right? Exactly, I mean, yeah. no beautiful girls, no box office. Right. Um, yeah. Wow. So um, I have to see 20th Century again. I was able to pull up a couple of segments on um, YouTube, and I think really my favorite line is when your grandfather says, What do you know about talent? What do you know about genius? What do you know about the theater? You bookkeeper, get out. <laughs> I was just like, Oh my God, could that be more fabulous? And um, he was just pure art in that role. And I just love him so much in that movie. I really do. But I think Grand Hotel might be the no, most... No, I'll play all the other parts. Will you play all the other parts? <laughs> no, that's uh, from 20th century. Oh, is that from 20th yeah. century? Yeah. So um, your favorite line, perhaps, from your grandfather's career? I couldn't say. I, I tell you my favorite line from my father's career. Oh, okay. What? Are you trying to tell me I'm a Jew? But I can't be. I don't feel like a Jew. From uh, <laughs> Never Love a Stranger. <laughs> okay. Well, I personally love, I close, could you say it for me, the door comes? I close the iron door on you. There. I, I've been waiting for that for 15 years. Okay. Wow. So anyway, I brought a There's gift Mickey. for you. I brought Are a you gift did? for you tonight that I want to give you. Where's that sexy girlfriend? Oh, she went there home. she is. Come here, TT. Come here, TT. This girl, I can't even tell you. She's been my guardian today where you're concerned. I wanted to give you this because I can never thank you enough for coming today. Oh, thank you. That's that Harrell photo. Yes. Yeah. And I'm in love with that profile. And, um... I, um, I just want to get a shot of him holding that because he's so fabulous near his grandfather's hand and foot friends. Yes, I will. Isn't that great? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. This is John's grandfather. This is John Barrymore III, and this is his grandfather's hand and footprint ceremony. Where are you guys from? Where? Oh, we love you, Louis Jordan and Charles Boyack. Oh my God! Charles anyway. Boyack is right around here somewhere. <laughs> yes, yes. Take a picture with John if you like. Was that okay with you? Sure. No, no, no.
No, I thought he's like. No, I, I would like you to have a picture with him because he's John Barrymore the third. You're a Monday. I think you can come by his star. Yeah. Oh yeah. This, I mean, this, is, this is John's grandfather. Yeah. So you'll have to take a picture with him. Yeah. How fantastic! Viva la France! We love the French. God Thank bless you. America. Thank you for coming <laughs> to Hollywood. Oh my God. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Um, anyway. You know, I said um, for five years in total vision in French. Do you know something? Yeah, I learned no French. I, I want you to know me. something. You're such a prince to come and my show tonight and do this with me. Really, thank you so much. I'm so glad you like the picture. It makes me so happy. Here, I'll put this back in here. There's nothing to it. So, you knew where I found the photo? Larry Edmonds. Of course. Larry Edmonds, the greatest bookstore in all of Hollywood and perhaps the world. Be sure to go. Hang on a minute. I've got a little bookmark from Larry Edmonds' place because he's fantastic. There never was and there will never be another place like Larry Edmonds. Thanks to Jeff and thanks to Sean for this incredible photograph of John Barrymore. The third. John Barrymore, uh, not John Barrymore the third. He's here with us in, in life. Uh, yeah, that's it's yours. confusing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you this. Well, there's three of you, right? Um, so, well, right. I'm actually junior, but, but, okay. but Mama is the one who started calling me Johnny Craig. Oh, I didn't know that. She That's wasn't about to call me Junior. She already had you. You know what I love? I love JB. It's so interesting. You know, who gets to be called JB? It's like one of those, like, fabulous, like... Yes, yeah, JB. No JB. Yeah, it's so, like, you know, oil mines and all that yeah, stuff. Diamond mines. Amazing. Golden era Hollywood. It's like a diamond mine. So, yeah. So, anyway. Oh, look. Best wishes to Sid Grauman. The Marx Brothers. How wonderful. Four of Hollywood's funniest men. Did you ever see uh, SOB? I never saw it. So, oh, Julie Andrews, of yeah. course, yes. Well, everybody in that movie is somebody real. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, that was Mickey and Judy's doctor. Okay. Oh, okay. You remember the doctor? Yes. Right? Uh, um, uh, Shelly Winters is playing Sue Mangers. Yeah, you have a lot of dish on Kelly Winter. Yeah. Um, Rona Barrett, uh, uh, what's her name? No, uh, the, the one, the other woman playing Rona Barrett, you know, uh, Loretta Swift. Loretta Swift. Loretta Swift. Playing Rona Barrett. Um, Richard Mulligan is playing Blake Edwards. Okay. And Julie Andrews is playing Julie, Blake Edwards' wife, Julie Andrews. So she's the only one that got to be herself. Yeah. Wow. Julie was a movie where she showed her tits. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. you know, Julie wasn't exactly Mary Poppins all the time. She can be a bad girl if she wants to be. <laughs> we all love Julie Andrews and we all love Mary Poppins. Oh my God. Yeah. Cheers to Dick Van Dyke. Hi, Dick. We all love you. You're only fantastic. Hey, have you met Dick Van Dyke? Yes. Oh my God. Who haven't you met? So do you have a Dick Van Dyke story for everybody? Yes, it's about 12, 15, 10, 15 years ago. It was about 80, 20 years ago almost. Mm -hmm. He uh, was on the share feed for Dick Tricks, you know. So look at look at look at start I just saw. Oh, Drew's. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Um. Anyway, he uh, he fell asleep on a surfboard and he floated out into the bay, and a group of dolphins brought him in. You know, I think about your sister sometimes, and it's kind of great how she's. Um, you know, put your family name right out there in front again. And yeah. that, that must make you very happy. Well, you know. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's Elton. You know, he was so nice when Liz Taylor died. He said the most beautiful thing. Oh, and thing. Uh, Robert Vaughn is playing Robert Vaughn. Oh, no kidding. In SOB. <laughs> yeah. I love all of Blake Edwards' movies. Don't you remember when, uh, when um, he was going, yes, JG, no, JG. He's talking to this person. He's talking to the phone. That's Charlie Blue Dog, who owned Paramount. Oh, no kidding. You're a hoodie, no? Oh, Shasha Gabor. One of the most beautiful women in all the world. Beautiful Shasha. She did a reverse mortgage on her house up in Bel Air. And she got to have the most fabulous time 
in her golden era years. Okay, I see okay. that, I see that. Ice cream. Sweets for the sweet here on Hollywood Boulevard. Hey, do you know what the three most visited stars by um, like guys who come to Hollywood are? The three most visited stars? The most, three most visited stars. What's that? Are, um, uh, Charlie Sheen, uh, Bruce Lee, and Chuck Norris. I found that oh. out from like a lot of dudes who come here and like they look for those three stars. Isn't that fun? I thought, would Michael oh, I, Jack I thought Michael Jackson would be a big one too. Well, I was here when his kids did stand up for print. Who's your favorite modern day leading man? That's a good one. John Wayne Marco. I didn't see it. Oh, you'll have to see it with Faye Dunaway and uh, Paul and Brenda. Thank you.